we're all hearing about how competitive it is to try and get onto the Limerick starting 15 for this All-Ireland final but I'm joined now by one gentleman who's trying to make his case very much so to try and get in there Limerick's David Reedy it's far from Kildare Hurling you've come now yeah um, I suppose last year I was let go um, and it was a bit of a disappointment but it was a great year I spent up in Kildare and um, I was able to work in a few bits and thankfully John uh, rang me back in, in October last and uh, invited me back in and uh, it's been great and it's where I want to be Joe Quaid at the time spoke, he was really singing your praises and he said he couldn't understand why you weren't in the Limerick panel and he was delighted to make hay with that. When you look back on it now, do you have any idea perhaps what was it that they felt you didn't have that you might have now? Um, no, I just, I, I took it on the chin. Maybe it was uh, the kick that I kind of needed and I uh, was able to go up and Joe invited me in and I had a great year with Kildare um, and I was able to maybe work on things that I needed to work on. Um, so all in all, it was, it was positive all around. What did you work on? I can't be telling you that, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're afraid you're going to go running back to Galway with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just bits and pieces. Um, maybe uh, um, mindsets, mindset-wise more so than hurling-wise, you know? Yeah, it, that probably comes as well, though, with learning when you're, you know, you're still quite a young man and you learn with experience. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it was a great experience. I got up there and... Um, but I, I always longed to come back and, and hurl with Limerick. Um, it was my home county, so uh, it was a great experience up in Kildare, and, and um, I benefited from it. And just thanks to Kildare and thanks to Joe for the opportunity. You're back now in Limerick. You came into the semi final there in the last few minutes, and you made your own impact as well. And you're one of those people now who's pushing for those starting 15 places. We've heard a lot over the years about the legend that was the Kilkenny A versus B games, but we're hearing the same out of Limerick. Are they tough? Um, I suppose yeah, they're always tough. Any uh, 15 versus 15 you have is always going to be tough. Um, but we do have a good squad, and those lads pushing for places. They're outside the 26, and um, if you rest in your laurels, there's always a fella behind you pushing for your place. So um, I suppose it's, it's very competitive, and that's that's uh, suiting us well and, and standing to us. That competition probably comes from the fact you've got such a legacy now of underage hurling as well. Um, yeah, I suppose a good few of the lads have won all Ireland's in minor and in, in under twenty one, and they've had success at minor as well. Um, and a good bunch of them grew up, you know, hurling together, so they're they're very close. Um, and I suppose they come in and, and they give a great lift to everyone. They're they're kind of careless. They just throw back the shoulders and let the hair down and play play hurling the way it should be. There is a lot of expectation now on very young shoulders because the majority of the Limerick's team are quite young. That's not to say you're not mature enough to handle it, but what are you doing to deal with, obviously, people are very excited and they want you to win? Yeah, um, well I think there's, there's very, for even though our, um, the, a lot of the panel are very young, there's great maturity and there's great leadership in there. Um, and I suppose we're just trying to concentrate on ourselves. Um, we spend a lot of time together obviously training and, and hanging out together so we're trying to keep our heads down um, stay away from the hype as much as we can and just concentrate on the con control the controllables and concentrate on we what we can do and um, that's all we can do That said, I'm sure you want to enjoy a flavour of it as well it's not every day you get to an all Ireland final and you should be able to enjoy it as well Definitely, definitely um, the next week and a half will be very enjoyable um, in regards to training and, and everything that goes with it. Um, but our sole focus is the 19th of August and uh, we're not going to look past it or look at look outside of our camp. Um, we're going to just keep our head down and, and train and focus on ourselves. Obviously part of that focus now is everyone is fighting for their position, even the people who seem established, as we've seen over the summer, you might end up losing your place or work really hard a la Shane Dowling to try and come back into it, that kind of thing. Um, at the same time, there's always that hope you might be in that starting 15 and when that doesn't come through for an All-Ireland final, it's probably going to be a mixture of emotions if it doesn't come through. Yeah, I suppose. Um, but again, I think we're, we're in such a good mind frame um, and comfortable with, with the panel and the strength we have that you know if there's a fella starting ahead of you, you know he's... he's um, deserving of that spot uh, because of the work he puts in there's, there's no one who's who's skipping any training sessions or any anything or resting on their laurels doing anything so it's um it's great to have that in that competition being the squad